please note that not every prophetic message that I share on this channel is meant for everybody. So it's important that you have a relationship with the Holy Spirit and take it back to him and ask him to give you the confirmation that you need before you run with the message. And for some of you, I know that this is going to be a confirming message because the Lord has already been speaking to you about this. And if that's the case and you have any questions, please make sure to take all those questions back to him because he will have the answers for you. Hi friends, it's Queen Elita. I'm back today with a message from the Lord based on a dream that I had on March 16th. Um, so yeah, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. Today's message is um, a corporate word, so it's definitely for everybody. So if you are listening, please do pay attention. The Lord is speaking and he has great plans, great plans. Okay, so um, yeah, the dream was on March 16th and in this dream, I was holding my phone. I remember I was laying in bed the, the exact same way that I was actually um, sleeping, if that makes sense. So the way I was in waking life was how I was in the dream. And um, I remember just looking at my phone, but I noticed that the date and time kept changing. It kept moving and changing and my um, wallpaper or what was happening on my background uh, on the background screen of my phone was um, I could see the the I, I want to say I, I could see earth like the globe but I, it's not that I could see it as a whole but it was nighttime and it felt like not only was I seeing it on my phone I was experiencing it you know it was nighttime in the dream and I kept hearing an owl. Every time I would scroll, I would hear um, toot toot, the little toot toot of an owl. <laughs> and um, I noticed that as I was scrolling, it it felt like I was in control, but I really wasn't. Um, I, I noticed that all of a sudden I could see this great big city. And in the dream, I knew that, um, you know, what was coming up on my screen was America and then it you know it just continued to go to other places and then as i was seeing that somebody came into my room this is someone that i know in waking life she came into my room and she had her eyes closed but she also had this blue blanket and it wasn't like a dark deep uh blue it was just a uh, it was a bright blue it was very pretty and she wanted to cover me with the blanket but then she was complaining that she couldn't see her eyes were closed i could see that they were shut and she was saying that she couldn't see then um i remember looking at my phone which had now turned into a globe um and it was deflating in my hand it felt like the whole of the planet was kind of deflating it wasn't as sturdy and where my fingers were touching it um, there were like watery puddles so there was a lot of wateriness going on around it guys this is a dream so it's hard to explain these things sometimes and then I noticed that as I as I was you know seeing this globe in my hand um, the room was filling up with water and the person who had come into my room she was now you know just floating around in that water just kind of um so the water was rising very quickly, but it was so beautiful. It was just quick and beautiful and just peaceful. And I could see her just kind of like floating in, inside the water, just kind of, you know, in there. And I was trying to reach out to her. And then there was this woman, this beautiful woman um, who came out of nowhere. She just appeared and she said that this is the love of God covering us. And she said um, something about the hebrew word for love and that was just so beautiful like when i did the research on that i was blown away by what god um you know what message god has for us but that was pretty much the dream i felt as she said that i began to relax because i i was tensing up in the dream just worried about everything that was happening seeing the darkness you know the night skies hearing the owl um seeing this water rising up and you know just um engulfing us and i was under the water as well i just wasn't struggling it didn't feel like i was 
underwater but I knew I was as well and when this woman said that this is the love of God covering us I immediately just felt at ease and I relaxed and then she spoke about the Hebrew word for love so that was the dream a very very beautiful uh dream and this message is for now um I was asking the Lord why was it that in the dream I was experiencing it in the very same position that I was sleeping in uh, in waking life and he said because it's for now it's current I-, I need people to take heed and listen and hear this message because it is for now um the the imagery of the phone in my hand with the changing time and date um has to do with the changing or the different time zones just this is a message for the world it's a global message it affects um every country every every nation and that's why the date and time kept changing it was showing the different time zones right and um darkness um the the, 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 sorry (laughs) and the fact that there was darkness um it was nighttime the lord was showing us or is showing us that it is going to get dark. There are some dark times ahead, right? And we just have to be prepared and we have to understand. So this message isn't about being prepared. That's just me throwing that in there. But there are dark times ahead. But God has um, appointed his prophets. There are going to be people who are going to be able to warn us and interpret certain things that may be happening in those dark times in these dark times and you know I really prayed and I asked God about the sound of the owl and he had me look up the characteristics of an owl and the two things that stood out were the 270 degree turn that they can do with their necks and the fact that they have the best night vision those were the two things that the lord drew me to and he said those are my prophets they're the ones that are gonna you know um be speaking and drawing people's attention to the times the times the times the times so every time i kept you know looking and scrolling through my like over my phone to see this um the the earth i kept hearing the the tooting of the owl and it wasn't ominous it didn't feel like this owl was negative because the first thing i was thinking was oh my gosh owls only come out at night in the dark you know all that negative witchcraft stuff but the lord said no he he wants us to understand that in this dream these owls represent his prophets the ones who will be able to see who have a clear clear vision in these dark times who are able to um, discern what is happening far off and all around them you know just being represented by that 270 degree turn that owls can do as well as also being able to uh, see in the way that owls do which is having the best night vision so the lord has appointed um his people his prophets who are going to be able to help us discern the times that we're in and the fact that the the only city that really stood out that i saw clearly um well let me not say city the country that really stood out um was america and no other country or continent stood out as strongly as that that was the only one that in my spirit while i was in the dream i knew that uh, that was america and i heard the lord say this is the starting point this is where it all starts this is where people will begin to see the things that are coming and um here's the gist of the message the woman who walked into my room and she had her eyes closed this is someone that i know like i said and this is someone who tends to um not have a full understanding of the ways of the lord you know um yeah i just i think that's the thing that stuck out most about this person um and how her eyes were closed in the dream and she had that blue blanket and she was trying to cover me she was trying to help me but the lord was saying that she represents people who cannot see (laughs) they cannot discern the times that we're in and they're trying to um bring this human understanding this human covering over a god situation over something that's too big uh she was trying to um help me but she was 
blinded she could not see she couldn't open her eyes her eyes had been closed so um the lord is just giving us understanding here that there are going to be people that will try and make sense of things but because they cannot see in the spirit they do not have that spiritual discernment god hasn't given them that ability they will they don't understand the magnitude of what is happening and they don't understand that only god can cover us and this leads me to you know just the way that the, the globe was deflating and watery in my hand and how the water started to fill up um that just representing the systems of this world falling apart deflating by the work of the spirit not by human hands and of course the water rising quickly but beautiful is the covering of god like the woman had said so people who think they understand but do not have the prophetic gifting do not have the ability to see in the spirit maybe trying to help maybe trying to um understand and lead people a certain way but they really don't understand and really i believe that the lord is saying that he's going to cover us no matter what happens because of his love but he's not only going to cover us um so let me put it this way very often because of religion a religious way of thinking and that spirit of religion a lot of people have this way of um what's the word i'm looking for judging discriminating based on what they see right we do that all the time we are always judging we are constantly looking at people and judging them and we make up our minds and decide in our own minds you know who they are and what they're about and god is saying through this dream that very often that those people that we have judged so harshly that we can see um are not anointed are not led to do the things that they think they are we may see them as enemies as people who are going against god but really it's just that they are ignorant and there is a scripture in the bible that talks about god blinking at the time of ignorance i think it's in the book of acts and what i believe god is showing us here is that he is the one who decides who he's going to cover and in the stream the ignorant person and i were both covered in that water we were engulfed you know submerged rather in within that water and so i believe uh that God is showing us that we will not be able we cannot sit here and judge and make judgments based on what we see without understanding what God is doing i hope i'm making sense so i'm going to quickly just go into the meaning um of the hebrew word for love just something that i found here um the word is hesed or hesed i'm not to pronounce it and i'm just going to read something that i got off the internet which really um you know ministered to me with regards to the hebrew word for love it says here many biblical words such as mercy compassion love grace and faithfulness relate to the hebrew word hesed but none of these concepts well none of these completely summarize the concept has said is not merely an emotion or feeling but involves action on behalf of someone who is in need has said describes a sense of love and loyalty that inspires merciful and compassionate behavior toward another person i love this because the message that god has given me today is that he is going to show people this love those who are ignorant who possibly choose not to see the truth and choose to try and understand things their own way he is he is going to actively it says here it involves action on behalf of someone who is in need he is going to actively help people because they are in need um because of the sense of love and loyalty that inspires his merciful and compassionate behavior towards his people so understand really the gist of this message is that everybody is on a journey we may look and see and think oh no oh no 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 because of our own understanding because of religious thinking whatever the case may be but god is saying some of these people they just don't have the ability to see they cannot see they do not understand that what they're doing isn't um according to 
an anointing that he's given them. They're just trying to make sense of the dark times and trying to cover and help. But God is going to cover. He's the one who's going to help. He's the one that's going to come in with his mercy and cover everybody. Um, cover all of his children, even those who are in a state of ignorance at the moment. He's going to cover his children because of his sense of, of love and loyalty um, towards them. And that is what basically inspires him to be merciful and compassionate so this has been a very difficult message to explain. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, I don't know if I've done it justice. I do understand what God um, has been showing me through this dream. It's just been hard to conceptualize in terms of how am I going to, how do I put this into words? How God's love is going to cover people that we least expect, not just um I think what I'm trying to avoid is people thinking that I'm saying God is just going to cover everybody just because, you know, it is what it is. I believe that there are people that we may see around us and we observe around us who are not getting it quite right because they've been blinded because they do not see. So they are leaning on their own understanding and God's mercy is still going to cover them. God's love is still going to cover them because he does wink at the time of ignorance because of their ignorance. Um, he has compassion towards them and he knows what he's going to do in terms of that person's journey. I hope that summarizes it well. I'm going to put up the scripture that God has put on my heart for this word at the end of this video. So yeah, I pray that this word has blessed you guys and I will see you in the next video. Always remember that God is a good father. He loves you so much because you, my friends, are so deeply special to him.